I think by now most people already know or have heard about Apollo 11 mission that landed the first man on the moon. There's obviously a lot of conspiracies behind this particular mission and there's a lot of deniers of this mission ever occurring, but not many people talk about Apollo 10. Now today we're going to talk about this mission, which I think has a lot more mystery behind it than most people know. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> Now first, let's actually briefly talk about this Apollo 10 mission and what it was all about. It happened about two months before Apollo 11, and this was actually a test of the ability of Apollo craft to essentially um, reach the moon and then potentially land on it. This was a manned mission, so there were actually astronauts on, on board of the spacecraft, and instead of landing on the moon, they actually approached it to, I think, within about 14 kilometers of the surface. So this was in 1969, and during the Apollo 10 mission, the astronauts on board had to essentially traverse the far side of the moon, where um, all of the radio contact with Earth would actually be all out. So on, on the far side, because the Earth is blocked by the moon, there would be no contact with Earth, and essentially for for about one hour, nobody would be able to contact you, there, there would be absolutely nothing. And during this period, as far as everybody knew um, on Earth, uh, specifically the Kennedy Space Center and of course all of the uh, scientists on Earth uh, thought everything was going smoothly, everything was going fine, but they didn't really know what's actually happening on the craft itself. And even when the craft reappeared from behind the moon, they actually still had no idea what just happened. And it was only after the craft reappeared from behind the moon and then landed back on Earth, uh, that's when this was actually started to be known as NASA's Unexplained Files. So are you intrigued about what happened yet? Because this is essentially where we're going to be talking about a mystery that has still not been solved. So what happened during that hour? When the astronauts were on the other side of the moon and the moon was blocking the communication with Earth, for this entire hour, they have heard something that they later uh, described as strange otherworldly music coming through the Apollo module's radio. Now, this was actually recorded during their conversation between all three of them, and they actually even said something along the lines of, it sounds like, you know, outer space type music. You hear that? That whistling sound? Woo! Well, that sure is weird music. Here's actually an excerpt that was found uh, later on, actually very recently, in the NASA archives. So just take a listen. You want some more brownies? Now. That hit music even sounds outer spacey, doesn't it? You hear that? That whistling sound? Yeah. Woo! Yeah, it sounds like, uh, you know, outer space type music. Hey, Tom, is your, is your insulation all burned off here on the front side of your window over here? Right? Yeah. Mine's all burned off. Heading out here, where are you, John? And the sounds lasted almost an hour, and just before the astronauts regained radio contact with uh, the uh, Earth and basically with the Space Center, they actually had to talk to each other and try to discuss whether they wanted to report this to uh, Kennedy Space Center. And so what they said to each other right before they regained uh, contact was, it's unbelievable, you know? Shall we tell them about it? I don't know. We ought to think about it. And the reason why they didn't want to report this is, of course, because NASA would think that they're crazy and would ground them for the rest of their lives. As a matter of fact, uh, they could have lost their jobs if they've reported it right away. And when the craft came back to Earth, NASA decided that it was best to withhold this information from the public for, for the time being, because it was not in public's best interest to know that there were unusual sounds on the spacecraft, especially if they couldn't really explain it. And so even today, we don't really know what exactly caused these sounds or where they came from, but um, there's obviously quite a lot of various speculations. But what's really interesting is that NASA even issued a statement saying that these files have actually been available to the public this whole time, but even though most people claim that these were lost tapes or were actually uh, hidden somewhere, they were technically out there and you could have actually listened to this yourself a long time ago. 
So even though they were technically confidential back in 1969, these tapes were publicly available since 1973. But because there was no internet back then and because it was kind of difficult to obviously access those tapes, it was not until 2012 that we actually got to listen to all of these various tapes because they were finally uploaded to the internet. But not everyone obviously thinks that this was some sort of a conspiracy theory or that it was that important. As a matter of fact, one of the pilots by the name of uh, Gene Kernan, not Kerman, Kernan, he um, even said something uh, along the lines of, um, I don't remember that incident exciting me enough to take it seriously. It was probably just radio interference. Had we thought uh, there was something other than that, we would have briefed everyone after the flight. We never gave it another thought. And apparently this wasn't even the only time that astronauts heard something unusual in space. As a matter of fact, uh, some astronauts claimed that this was quite a regular occurrence, that they would hear these strange sounds and strange noises coming from it would seems to be not Earth. But because it was actually quite difficult to prove that this was an extraterrestrial signal or basically anything else for, uh, for that matter, and because there was no way to point out where it was actually coming from, this is why it never really made the headlines in any newspapers. But what about the explanations? So what did NASA think actually happened? Why did uh, astronauts hear this particular sound or music as they call it? Well, the most uh, prominent explanation, or I guess the most likely explanation is that this was very likely to have been uh, some sort of an interference between the VHF radios on the two different vehicles that uh, Apollo uh, craft was carrying. And because of this interference, it created this kind of a wooing sound that later disappeared when they left uh, the dark side of the moon. But at the same time, why is it that it only appeared on the dark side? So this is one thing that was never really explained well and why so many people thought that this was some sort of a conspiracy theory or maybe this was some sort of a signal from the aliens on the dark side. Um, but in reality, the actual, um, the astronauts themselves, specifically um, the astronauts that were on Apollo 10, didn't really think it was anything super unusual. They, they did say that it sounded outer spacey and they called it music, but in reality it was just just the type of a radio noise you would hear from a regular radio if it uh, if it came close to a microphone, for example. And even though in the transcript the astronauts do sound kind of puzzled by what they hear, in reality, uh, if you actually hear their voices, they are not at all uh, alarmed by what's going on. They're not scared, they don't think it's aliens, and they're just kind of making fun of it because they've actually been warned by the technicians before the flight that there might be some interference with the radio communication. But even though technically this is probably the best explanation, even today uh, a lot of astronauts are not exactly sure what happened. Specifically, um, Al Warden, who was the Apollo 15 astronaut, uh, even said uh, that logic tells me that if there was something recorded on there, then there was something there. And so to date, the origin of these noises mentioned in the Apollo 10 recordings remains a mystery. Well, that's all I wanted to talk to you about and that's all I wanted to present today and just give you an idea that even today there are some mysteries that are not just the moon landing hoax, which is technically not a hoax, it's just a conspiracy theory that is not really true. But this, however, is a mystery and it's still unsolved. So what do you think happened? Can you actually solve this mystery? Can you figure out what they heard? And if you want to listen to the sounds again, here they are. Anyway, leave a comment with your explanations. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you still haven't, like this video if you've enjoyed watching it, and share it with your space-loving friends. I'll see you guys in the next video, thank you for watching, give me later, and bye-bye.